Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Moonlighter. Let's go in here and see what we have in store us for us for the Golem Dungeon today. It looks like we have some nasties going on. Make these jumps here. Let's see. I really enjoy this game. This is inspired by Zelda among some other um I wouldn't say better or worse, just games that I am not as familiar with, like Rogue Legacy, and I have never played Rogue Legacy, actually, but I have played a bit of um, Binding of Isaac, and I feel, actually, uh, in my personal opinion, that the, the Binding of Isaac feels a little bit in a Zelda, uh, ouch. That's not exactly what I wanted to do at all. Uh, kind of the, in the same Zelda uh, feel. Um, whether it's right or wrong so much, um, I feel that this particular dungeon style... Um, oh, that's really good. I remember that. That's really good. Um, is very Zelda-like. Now, uh, Zelda may not been the first to ever develop this style of top down but I do feel that it has um, I don't know popularized it or you know something to that effect so um, oh ah ouch he get me no get away uh, oh, get away ah, I'm gonna die ah, get away ah, there we go um, so yeah, Zelda, it just, when I see dungeons, not, not just the top down, but the, the square rooms, the jumping, it's not a fluid transition, um, it's more, well, Zelda was probably more of a full skip, uh, but these do kind of slide a little bit, it just seems like it's, ooh, ooh Golem Warrior, that's not good, Ouch! he's tough! Okay, I'm not going to survive this somehow. I have got to figure out how to get away from... I can't. Okay, I can do that. Right trigger. That's what I want to do. Um, I got to, like, almost go at him. Shoot. When I do that. Ah, shoot. I didn't make it. Right trigger. Right trigger. I am not going to make this. Shoot, this is not gonna go well for me. I can't just can't get in there and hit him. I am out of wonder if I can like stay close to him, like almost run around him so he doesn't ouch do that. That thing. That's what I'm hoping he doesn't. Oh no, we died and we lose everything, unfortunately. Wow, that's rough. Let's go ahead and play this again and see if we can get a little bit farther, a little bit better in this. So like I was saying, oh. All right, yeah, like I was saying, this is very uh, Zelda aspect here with seems to be a similar um, in Binding of Isaac. Again, Rogue Legacy, I haven't played, but I like this game. There's a lot of differences in here uh, in those kind of made its own as well, which I enjoy. It's always good to see that uh, combination of, you know, using something that is known and liked uh, as long with something that is new. And I really like how they did the new with the merchant in here. I, when I first heard about the game, I thought it was a cool game and a cool idea, but I was always like, you know, how are they going to balance that? Because I feel that the, um, the um, merchant side of it is just not going to be as fun or as interesting as the dungeon side. And I think they did a really good job with um, you know, balancing it so that you can, you know, do both. Both are interesting and adventurous and that sort of stuff. And, and it's not, 
one is not completely um, overpowering the other. And that's ultimately what you want here. I feel like I'm going very slow here. These hand things are a little bit annoying, but you've got to have to hit them when they're um, when they swing at you. And then you have to swing at them when they're down. There we go. We got them. Open it. Add those. And move on. Oh, I don't like these areas when they're a little ouch. I need some major um, defense here. Oh, gosh, and I forgot. I don't have any health potions either. Uh-oh. I really, you really, in the in the scheme of the game, do not want to die in the dungeon too much. That's the bad thing to do. Let's see if I can get him to go to me. There we go. Now you got to get that guy to walk into the wall. Oh, I don't really necessarily want to go in the forest, but I could get some stuff that's really... You get these little mini dungeons here. You get these things here that uh, are really the next dungeon, but you get like a little taste of it and it allows you to uh, find some better stuff, really. Can I get, oh, bush. Bush is in my way. Oh, is that it? The dead end, that's weird. I didn't expect that. I thought they were bigger, like those areas. We might do one more room and then jump back to the merchant area. We'll just have to see how it goes. Oh, I don't like these guys. These little blobby things. They don't seem to hurt me there when I'm in them. So I guess it's not. It's more probably about um, not letting me move than anything else. And also in games like this, I have a, a, I don't know, not a, uh, uh, a dilemma on how much I should show. I mean, these adventures and running through the dungeons are fun, but they can be fairly repetitive. So, did I get all the way fooled? Yes. Um, so there, it's nice on one aspect, but on the other, it can be a little bit boring. I got back to him, but I'm not sure if I'm going to make this or not. I think I want to try to stay a little bit closer to him this time. Ah, shoot. See if I can get him not to do that. Ah, shoot. Just go way later. Wait, let's, yeah, let's just smash him. That's one way to do it. Not the best way to do it, probably, but let's just uh, stand and beat him up. Well, we're going out here. I'm, yeah, really low. We don't want to go down to the next dungeon. So, like, yeah. Do we want to show all... I always get in the, like, debate on how much to show and... Um, you know, do you want to see all the dungeon dungeoning? Because something can pop up fairly, you know, surprise. And, you know, you just don't know. Let's get these things out of here. I think these things are good. Um, broken sword. I'm not sure I need those. Go ahead and sell, like, the ancient pots. I do not recall what these are worth. <laughs> Uh, let's see if I can find my nope. That's not the right button. It's that is nope, not inventory This is what I want my notebook So what did see some of these things golem core I haven't sold one yet Ancient pot. I haven't sold Hundred so it'd be around a hundred for the ancient pot. I think And maybe 150 for the broken sword or more because maybe 200 because of that so let's make this uh, like 500 maybe because that's the new one nope. and then we're gonna make this 150 
And I wonder, what was this fabric? I'm thinking that the fabric was something that was... Um... A lot more. Hey, yeah, there we go. So yeah, something like 275 for the fabric. You really need to make sure you pay attention to that. Because it makes a huge difference on how much money you can get overall once you start selling and selling a bunch of this stuff okay let's go to bed and then open our shop up tomorrow because i always worry about like you know even the selling stuff should i show how much how much should i show um you know something interesting might happen something new might happen and i'm always like should i do a couple runs off camera and you know so i debate a lot about exactly what i should show in here okay he did not like those at 500. um let's go to 300 i guess i'm trying to do it as quickly as something else was not happy i think it was the maybe the pots Definitely should be something around that, I think. Let's get these stuff sold off. Maybe she'll be happy now. Still not happy about the pots. Okay, well, that kind of surprises me, but... Okay, we can handle that. Let's go ahead and throw the swords in there and do... I don't know. 200 maybe um you know you know i'm just gonna go ahead with 150 on those and some of these things might have sells things already just trying to keep as much as i can i did not mean to do that trying to keep as much as i can throughout the day to sell so that we get as much profit i don't want to leave that bench empty Oh yeah, okay. They just gotta be happy with the price. That's all there is to it. Make that little squinty eyes face. Oh, see, I must have moved that down too much. Oh well. How much I can do? Some of these things I know I need for weaponry. Okay, we're doing good here. Doing good, making some good bit of money already. It's all about getting in there and getting these things. Petals, I'm gonna make petals not very much, maybe a hundred. You can make some good money as you go. We need to get the, the uh, blacksmith and the apotheth apothecary. How's that, what's that word? Uh, up pretty quickly I sold those for too little and that's not a good thing oh these don't have a price on them um do 200 for both of those that's probably too much but we'll see I almost would rather go too high because if you go too high then they just make a funny face and then you um you come back and lower it before they leave if you actually make it too low they'll buy it and you'll you'll lose money on it basically okay so that was too high let's go with 150 just like that i didn't lose money on it see now i just lost a lot of money on that but <laughs> possibly i don't know i guess I don't know what his reaction to the pedals were. Yeah. I gotta, I really need to look at these more probably. Um, Cause now those, I think they were foundry rests is what they were. Water things were too much. 
And then once you get a little bit down, you figure out what you need and how to maneuver it all out. So, uh, Oh. Nope, 150 is what I want on those. And you'll eventually get it all figured out about good prices. Again, I feel that too high is, is better than too low. Okay, so that's still too much for these. I think I have these at a good price. Let's go and throw those in. And we'll 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 save that. We're almost to nighttime. Go back over there and buy those, please. The things that you just said you didn't want. Hey, there we go. Yeah, sweet. We're all bought out, all sold out. The store is empty. We can actually upgrade the store too, which allows you to sell more things at once. How much money did we get? We made a lot of money. 5,600 and there's probably could have made quite a bit more than that too. So let's do some stuff here. Let's do shop. What I can make the shop. Oh, that's 8,000. Wow. That is not as much money as I have. Let's go ahead and do these two people. And yes, let's do that. And then we'll do the other one and do another run in the dungeon. And then that's where we will um, make the money for the 8,000. We want to get our shop up pretty quickly. Can I not move? You're not going to let me move? Here we go. Oh, I didn't want to talk. So, oh, Will, have you seen Masa by chance? Who am I talking to? That was kind of odd. Talk. Who am I talking to? I want to read. I think there's an invisible person back there. <laughs> We've done that. Okay, let's do the the wooden hat because we're going to have to buy some weapon and armor and potions and stuff before our next adventure. Here we go. Yay, she has a little slime in her backyard. That's kind of cool. So let's see if we can find... Eh! You must be Will, no? The one who requested my forge. My name is Andre. Forge Master Extraordinaire. If it's weapons or armors you seek, Vulcan's Forge is the place. Well, there we go. Wow. Okay, so you do need stuff to make them. I forgot about that spot or that, that, that part of it. And we need a lot of money as well, unfortunately. So yeah, we'll have to keep on, hold on some stuff. That's 30, 40, and then 50, but it slows me down a little bit. Okay, we can handle that. We can get the plus four, even minus eight. So there's the, uh, we'll figure this out. So 4,000 here, 4,000 once we get up. Okay. So we'll definitely have to go through and get some of these things and get some more items. Let's see if it's the same over here. I think it is, if I remember correctly. And it was... Oh, a customer. My apologies. It's just... This book, it's so good. Oh, yes, I am Eris. Reaver and Master of Potions. Come to the wooden hat when you need a potion or enchantment. What do you want to craft today? And again, I'll, oh, I see, yeah, I can make these, buy one, or use a recipe to get. Uh, and I have a few of those little globby things, so we're gonna run back up to the, do the old Zelda roll thing here to get back to the beginning or back up quicker. I got a bunch of roots in here. I don't really need, I guess. I really didn't want quick move all. I just want quick move that. There we go. Get me some uh, healing potions for us. Let's go. 
I like the nightlife here. It's pretty cool. We got little, what were those, fireflies in the sky. We want to do, yeah, we want to do this basically. Make me a bunch of these. Um, yeah, let's do five of them. There we go. I like that. I think they've added that recently to make it a little bit easier to do that. I think my next one is probably going to be upgrading my, um, the Moonlighter, because if you upgrade again, you get another set of these and you can sell more stuff quicker. But that's going to be our episode today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And let me know how much you guys, if you have an opinion, let me know in the comments below. Hey, you want to see everything? Do you want me to try to get you the exciting stuff? What would you like to see? I like to put everything out, but let me know what you're thinking. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.